I want to welcome you guys to another episode of Digging in My Comic Book Shorts. Uh, this is an ongoing series that I've been doing to essentially highlight books that are in my extended collection, the uh, collection of 100,000 comics that I picked up a few months ago. And so we are actually going to be taking a look at a box that is probably seeing better days, right? I mean, this this thing has some duct tape and some other types of tape holding it together. Uh, but we are going to take a look inside, and uh, what you may be able to see, hopefully on camera, if is that uh, I may have to cut this, is that uh, this box is actually marked Moon Knight. There, this is a Moon Knight box. So shout out to all of those uh, Moon Knight fans that are out there. This one is for you. So we're going to uh, shift some things around and we're going to take a look and uh, see what we're going to see. Typically, we do it from this end to this end. Maybe we'll do it in reverse order and uh, we'll see what we are able to find in here. The very first thing that comes out is a uh, Marvel Universe book. I think there are several of those that I've actually flipped through in various boxes in the collection. I'll make sure I have my cell phone so that we can do what we need to do in case we need to do some uh, some research here because I will tell you I am not all that familiar with all of the Moon Knight uh, titles that are out there. Uh, there are probably people out there that are much much more knowledgeable than I am on a lot of this stuff. So looks like we have uh, the Vengeance of Moon Knight uh, number five right here is essentially what we are pulling out of the box and these are done by I think a relatively famous artist right there Lin Yoon I think that's how you say his name I could be incorrect in that pronunciation but uh, there was what issues were those as I flipped through those relatively quickly that was issue uh, four of Vengeance of Moon Knight and issue number five of Vengeance of Moon Knight so what I normally do is I normally go through the box relatively quickly um, and then I try to just identify some things on the fly that 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 uh, you know that I recognize and then when I have a little more time I'll actually go back through a little bit slower to pull some things that is Moon Knight a uh, number 28 and what you are noticing here is that uh, this bin like many bins uh, is a mixture of of sometimes raw books and then uh, in more cases than not uh, books that are bagged and boarded so this is a uh, Moon Knight issue number 25 right there that's actually a pretty cool cover right there. A lot of folks love some Moon Knight. And uh, I think there's a lot of rumors out there that he is going to be getting. I think it's a, it's a TV show, I want to say. So hopefully, hopefully he is able, they are able to uh, to make that magic happen. That's actually a pretty cool cover right there. That's cool. So far, some pretty, pretty nice covers. But uh, what is that? Issue number 15 right there. Kind of just kind of working my way through this box a little bit. Uh, issue 13. A lot of modern stuff in here. In this end, uh, <laughs> what I find uh, at whichever end oftentimes depends upon uh, how I set the box down. Because sometimes it starts new and then goes old. And in this case, we definitely uh, switched it up here, which is this. This is a uh, Moon Knight issue uh, number 10. And again, just kind of kind of working my way through through some of these. Pretty sure there's going to be some people that are going to comment in the comment section. Why'd you pass that book up? <laughs> because I don't recognize it readily as a book that is super important. Because I am not the uh, not the most knowledgeable again when it comes to uh, to Moon Knight. But one of the things I was looking for, and I'll tell you that, as I find one of them here, I found a Moon Knight book uh, that is a a David Finch cover, and uh, David Finch does some really really fantastic Moon Knight stuff so I actually want to uh, to look that up that is part of the reason what uh, what prompted me to actually pull this box was uh, was David Finch the dude is super talented does some really really good work and uh, which this is probably 2000s ish is my guess um, he does some really really good work and so I wanted to uh, to try to pull uh, this this being thinking that I may be able to find a healthy amount of, uh, of David Finch stuff in here so I'm actually going to be pulling up uh, go collect here primarily because I don't know uh, which series this is without pulling the book out again I'm not that familiar with uh, with this uh, this title or the, this character to be honest 
So it's sometimes easier just to pull it up in a key collector app, which now tells me that this is indeed a, a 2006 book, Moon Knight number six from 2006. There have been 12 sales of this recently. Um, most recently, 2018 was the last time and 9.8 was sold for and it actually went for a couple of bucks, 55 bucks, which isn't bad, but it's definitely a really cool cover. Again, when you when you see David Finch's name, you, you kind of want to at least take a take a moment, take a moment to to pause and acknowledge that. As I continue to uh, pull out more David Finch, that's uh, issue number five right there. And I'll go back through this, of course, and uh, make sure. Actually, let me let me pop over to Key Collector app real quick. And now that we know that it is the 2006 series, that is volume number three. That just shows you kind of how I use them uh, to kind of cross-reference one another. Um, it looks like according to Key Collector app, there are the two big important issues are issue number 20 and issue number 26. Those are the two. Issue number 20 is an oversized issue that reprint, re reprints the introduction of Moon Knight with excerpts from Werewolf by Night number 32 and 33. That is uh, Moon Knight 20, and I don't know that we've seen that yet. And then also Moon Knight 26, which is a Gabriel Del Otto cover. Those seem to be the, the main ones from this volume three. And uh, I think that's probably another David Finch right there. Yeah, another David Finch right there. And I'll go back through, of course, with a, uh, with a finer tooth comb and um and also i'll be going back through to bag and board a lot of these books some of them may be rebagged and boarded another david finch hopefully you guys can see this that is uh, moon knight number one right there david finch cover his uh, his moon knight's pretty pretty slick to be honest with you it's annual one shot right there so we'll put that back and uh, we'll keep working through this so i don't we just changed volumes there i definitely know that from the uh, the way the title is is displayed there on the on the top we know that we've slipped into another another volume this is right here is uh, moon knight number two is what we're looking at right there and here is moon knight number one um i don't know what series that is let's see if we can figure it out really quickly that was uh volume three that we were looking at i think i think that, yeah the volume three so maybe is this volume two no that is not two that is volume one. Wait, nope, that is not volume one. Again, trying to do it on the fly is, uh, is a little tough to do, especially when you're not all that familiar with uh, with the title. We'll just keep working our way through this thing. This is uh, Moon Knight, Mark Spector, Moon Knight number one right there. Can't tell who the artist is on that one. But the book is definitely, or the bin is, is definitely, I think, all Moon Knight, at least from uh, from the outside labeling, that is the indication. That is Moon Knight number 38 right there. Let's pull that one up real quick. Let's see if there's something there. 38. And indeed, indeed it is. Indeed it is. This right here is, what volume is this? This is a... This is volume one. This is volume one. This particular book comes from volume one. This is according to Key Collector app. Issue number 38 is a scarce final issue and uh, they have it at about $10. But again, Key Collector app uses a rolling uh, three month average, I do believe. But uh, there is Moon Knight number 38. The last, I believe in volume one, uh, a scarce scarce final issue doesn't tell me exactly how many were ordered we get that data sometimes when you look in with some of the more uh, modern books they'll tell you how many retailers ordered but we don't get that that information here here's issue number 36 i think from the exact same uh, exact same volume issue number 36 looks like dr strange there down at the bottom with some moon night going on so we'll slip that one back in here is uh issue number 35 that. And again, I'll go back and put these in uh, plastic and bags and boards. It's issue number 34. Another 34. She was that 33. Looks like the next one is is issue 30 that has a little bit of magic. That's a cool cover right there. We should at least pause and acknowledge the number 32. That's a cool cover. The whites, the purples, and the red, of course. That's pretty cool issue number 30 right there this is uh cover 
by Bill Sheswick. I think that's how you say his, his name. Sheswick, Bill. Um, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Issue number 30. Unfortunately, not uh, not bagged and boarded, but uh, that is perfectly fine. We can easily correct that one. There's a second copy right there. Set that down. Let that be a third. And no. <laughs> Not a third. This is issue uh, number 29 right here, but it is uh, another Bill S cover right here. And uh, let's, let's get a look at that one. It's not a bad looking book. I see I see one one spine tick, maybe halfway up the book across from where my thumb is. There's one little spine tick, but on a, a black cover of this age, that is not bad. I mean, this is this is early 80s, man. That is early 80s. That is not bad at all. And we have a, another shot on goal right here. Another shot on goal. It's issue number 29 right there again. So we have two two shots on goal. Shout out to Bill. Uh, one day I'll learn to pronounce uh, Bill's last name. <laughs> we'll scroll down. It looks like issue number 25 is probably the next one. That, uh, that definitely has some significance, the first appearance of someone. I saw issue number 27 there, and again, hopefully you guys will be able to see this on screen. Uh, issue number 24, and that's just a really cool cover. This is another Bill uh, S cover right here, issue number 24. And uh, let me see if I can get this in a position for you guys to be able to see it. It's actually a really, really nice cover. And we'll uh, we'll drop this one down into some plastic as well. Set it to the side, and um, we'll definitely come back and put these in plastic again. It's issue number twenty-one right there. We skipped over. Let's see what that is? Nope, nothing there. Let's see what this is? Issue issue twenty right there. Here is issue twenty again. A couple of copies of that. Issue number six, take a big jump right there. Issue number six right there. Scroll up to see what's going on with that. See, uh, Key Collector app is, is super, super handy. Issue number four. A couple of copies of issue number four. Issue number three, I think we're definitely in a new in a new volume here. It's a new volume that we've kind of spilled over to just, just that quickly. Issue number two. Oh, Smashed it in there. Issue number two, I believe. No, I thought that was volume one, but it is not. It's issue number two right there. Let's see if I can position these a little bit differently to uh, to prevent that crush from happening. It's issue number one right there. Another copy of number one. Another copy of number one. Let's see what volume that is. If we can find that out. So we were in volume one primarily. So this is uh, this is volume two that we are looking at right now. This is issue one of volume two, and this is actually the debut of Moon Knight's new costume. Pretty cool book. I think we we found what three copies of that. One, two, yeah, three copies. One bagged and boarded, and uh, the other two uh, not gorgeous black cover right there that's cool that's cool this is uh issue number 60 mark specter moon knight issue number 60 that is just a really nice cover that's pretty cool continue working our way through this another that another another one of those issue 54 i think that was kind of skip through here a little bit don't want to get too bogged down uh and uh have this run on longer than we need to so I'll continue. It's issue number 50. A couple of copies of issue number 50 here. This is the uh, the Mark Spector. Mark Spector Moon Knight. Let's see if we can see that one really quickly. Mark Spector. And uh, there's a couple of books in here that are uh, first full appearance of Randall Spector in here. A couple of books. Uh, looks like issue number 55 is a, a really interesting one. First cover art by Stephen Platt on Moon Knight, so that, that's pretty pretty significant there. Issue number 55, I don't think that we saw that, but I believe that Platt did that black and white cover that I was just looking at a moment ago. You pull out the, uh, the one, it's issue number 60 right there, and I believe that that is him. That's his uh, mark down there in the corner. We'll see whether we can find 55 to see what's going on with 60. It's the death of Mark Spector, the, the final issue 
uh, series finale is essentially what this one is, which is maybe why it's such a, a nice looking cover. It also says final phase. Maybe that was a little bit of a clue to me. Definitely a cool book. Definitely a cool book. We'll go back and take a look at that one. Uh, it's issue number 50. Did we see 55? Did we skip over 55? Let's backtrack here. It's another 50. That is 51. That's 52. Let's see if we see a 55 in here. It's 52. 53, 53, 54, another 54, no, so no 55, no 55 so far, maybe we'll, uh, we'll stumble across it elsewhere, issue 49, we're continuing to count down here, Let's see what else is in here, it's like 44 or something special, as is 35, we'll just kind of skip through, it's 47 there, 46, jump a couple it's 43 skip back see if we see 44 there's 44 right there and this is the first partial team appearance of hellbent the off spawn of lesser known demons <laughs> not a not a whole lot there in terms of value uh, from what i'm seeing in key collector rap but definitely a uh, a book that is still a key book nevertheless so it looks like the next key is issue number 35, and that's that uh, first full appearance of Randall Specter that we were talking about just a few moments ago. Keep skipping through, see if we can find 35. That's 37. Let's see if we get there. 36 right there. Looks like we may hit 35. Maybe, maybe we'll get there. There's a lot of copies of 36. A lot of copies of 36. There is 35. Just make sure. Yes, that is 35. Again, nothing nothing crazy here in terms of value, uh, but this is a key book. The first full appearance of Randall Specter, the brother of Moon Knight, who was previously thought to be a, a murderer, thought to be murdered. So we'll skip over that. And uh, we'll keep going. There's not a whole lot of value in, in this in this particular volume, but uh, definitely a couple of couple of cool books. A couple of cool books like that um, that issue number sixty. That was a cool book. Uh, it's issue number thirty right there. We'll continue to skip through. How about this right here? Little Moon Knight and Ghost Rider crossover. How about that one? This is uh, this is what I grew up with, man. A lot of this Ghost Rider right here. A lot of Moon Knight crossovers in the in the early '90s. I remember seeing a lot of that Ghost Rider, Spider Man, Punisher. These guys were in everything. And then there you go. Speaking of <laughs> speaking of it, there you go, right there. The uh, that that group, man. I I feel like those guys. Uh, you can throw Moon um, Moon Knight in there as well, but definitely Ghost Rider, Punisher, and uh, Daredevil. I'm not Daredevil. Um, that's who is that? Is that what? I... You can even throw Wolverine in there. To be honest with you, it uh, looks like a '90s cover to me. Okay, we'll keep keep skipping through this thing, seeing what else we have in here. No, I don't think there's probably going to be anything too crazy from what I am. Seeing it as I go through the uh, the app there, but I'll, I'll go back through here and uh, oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Looks like we just jumped back to volume one. Let's go back to uh, to volume one here real quick. This is uh, more bill books here, I think. Pull that out. That is uh, issue twenty three right there. And this is again a cover, cover by Bill S. So we'll set that to the side. Such a talented guy, such a talented guy. I, this is a, you can see this book is a little damaged from not being bagged and boarded. I, I like I like uh, Bill's artwork. I will tell you that I think that some of his work, like on New Mutants, got a little too far out there for me. Um, because I, I like more clean art, I think you know he he can be a little abstract to me, and that that's a little distracting. But uh, still a very talented guy. There's no doubt about that. I mean, as I continue to pull out <laughs> gorgeous, as I continue to pull out gorgeous covers here that this guy has worked on, right? This is issue number 15 right here. First appearance of a character, right? <laughs> a character who led an army of rats. So we'll set that to the side. We'll, we'll bag and board these. And uh, here is one issue number 20 that is indeed bag and board. I mean, that's just a gorgeous cover. 
right? I mean, that, that's just a gorgeous cover. That's just really, really well done. So we'll set that off to the side to see what else we have in here. It's issue number 14 right there. And uh, that's a, the first appearance and origin of Stained Glass Scarlet, a former nun who becomes a vigilante. There is a rumor that she will appear in a Marvel TV series. I have not heard that rumor, but uh, Scarlet, who doesn't love a nun turned vigilante, right? This is issue number 14 of uh, Moon Knight. There's uh, one copy there. Here's a second copy. Just make sure I didn't skip over one. I did not. Is this a third here? Nope, that is issue number 13. Let's go back and see if that's something significant. Number 13, it's the first battle of um, Moon Knight versus Daredevil is what that is. We'll come back and bag and board that one for certain. Which issue is this here? It's issue number 12 right there. And see, first appearance of Morpheus. I think that's how you pronounce that one. A man who turned into a monster after ingesting an experimental drug meant to cure a virus. How many times have we heard that story before? It's issue number 11 right there. Turn that around. It's another another issue. 11. Another. That's a 10. Another copy of 10. 10. 10. Previous owner may have thought something magical was going to happen. 10 is issue number nine. Another issue number nine. Here is issue number eight, and this is the first appearance of Midnight Man, a costumed thief. Again, nothing crazy in terms of value here, but uh, it's a striking cover. The black, the white, the red. That is that is a striking cover. It's two copies of that. Three copies of that. And uh, we are getting down towards the end of this box. It's issue number seven. A couple of copies of issue number seven right there. It's issue six. That's cool. That's a cool cover. Wow. Nothing significant about it other than the fact that it's a cool cover. That's very interesting. Slide that back in there. We'll, we'll come back for you in just a moment. So there's a couple of uh, couple of copies of books here. This is uh, issue number five, issue number four, issue number four. I'll set these down here. Um, issue number three. Uh, this is the first appearance of Midnight Man. We talked about that. Issue number three, three, three. Another one for issue number two here. A couple of copies of that. All right, so there you go. And uh, folks, folks may indeed be uh, wondering, wondering what happened to the issue uh, number ones. Why are there no issue number ones? Uh, rest assured that there, there were, there were issue number ones. I honestly cannot recall if they were in. Uh, this bin or another bin that was uh, at the storage facility, but uh, rest assured that there are some issue number ones. Rest assured that there are, in fact, have a stack of them right here. So I was able to find in the collection uh, a couple of copies of, uh, of Moon Knight number one, uh, volume one couple of copies in there and um, definitely definitely cool I have not gone through them to actually look at their condition I will tell you that just at, at a glance they they do appear to be in, in pretty solid shape I mean most of the books that I'm pulling from the collection you know if they're bags and boarded many of them are are actually in pretty solid shape you know nothing really to complain about so i'm definitely pleased about that but again i didn't quite know what we were going to find in this band especially because i had already found a lot of the the number ones already i was hopeful that maybe there would be some other number ones in there but but uh such is not the case but with that said i did however want to uh to to show some other books right because again i didn't quite know what to was to expect in there uh, I don't know a whole lot about Moon Knight, so I was I was hopeful there would be some fantastic stuff, but just wanted to be prepared. So here is uh, some books that I found in another bin that I thought I would share. This is Man from Atlantis TV show. That is issue number one right there. We'll slide this back a little bit. Issue number one. 
A uh, couple of cool books here. This is um, uh, Superman Batman issue number 11. What makes this one really cool is that it's just some great Michael Turner artwork. Um, huge fan of Michael Turner. And whenever I see his books in the collection, I actually try to pull them out just because uh, I had a very small amount of Michael Turner in the collection, most of which have been AOKs to me from the comic book community. And so whenever I spot some of his work in the collection, I try to pull it just because I am a fan. And uh, here's issue number eight of Superman, Batman. Really, really cool uh, story arc right here. Several copies of that. I think I have the entire full run. Uh, this one right here, well, another copy of, of issue number eight there as well. Here is a really cool uh, no prize book. Uh, no prize issue number one featuring Stan Lee as Dr. Doom. Really cool. I was very pleased to have found this one in a collection. As soon as I saw it, I knew exactly what it was. And it was it was just in a random box of comics, literally all by itself. And so I don't know if there's other copies of this in the collection. Uh, my eyes are definitely open for them, but I have that one copy uh, here is Mr. Miracle number 25 that I randomly again found in the collection. Anytime I'm finding the Mr. Miracles, I'm trying to pull them together and assemble them. Uh, and I think more than likely I'll have a pretty solid run on that as well. So speaking of solid runs, I was able to find more copies of Sandman. That is issue number three, issue uh, number two right there. And then I thought there was another issue number one, maybe not. So there's issue number two and three of Sandman. I have uh, multiple issues already that I found in another bin. These were just randomly in, uh, in a box. This book was pulled. This is Flash number 209. This one was pulled because it is another Michael Turner book. So it made perfect sense to pull that. And the same thing with this one right here. Uh, Flash number 208. Again, a really great cover by Michael Turner. I had an opportunity a couple of, a couple of maybe a little over a year ago to see some of his original pencil artwork. And it was, it was really, really fantastic stuff to be able to see. So huge fan of Michael Turner. And again, I will continue to pull uh, his books. I may have to do an updated tribute video, in fact, on Michael Turner now that I have so many more of his actual comics in my collection. So with that, I am going to wrap this video up. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to, uh, to watch this video. I hope that you found it uh, enjoyable and also entertaining. I will continue to do these videos in which I attempt to share with you uh, various books that I am uh, pulling from my comic book collection uh, because I, I think this is a, a cool way for me to be able to share the collection with you all uh, as best I can right through through the camera. Um, but I, I continue to find really cool books. And like I said, I hope that you guys continue to enjoy these and watch them. And and if you did enjoy it, I definitely want to encourage you to um, to hit the thumbs up, leave a comment behind. Uh, turn on notifications and all that good stuff if you haven't done any of that. And if you need to reach out to me, you can absolutely do that on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care. Uh -oh. Uh -oh.